Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today I want to talk to you about a simple feature that makes the YOLO box so effective, especially for sports. It is the instant replay. When it comes to sports, the YOLO box has an ace up its sleeve with instant replay. Normally, instant replay, you need a computer, you need a dedicated sports thing with the YOLO Box Mini, you've got a five inch tablet that not only switches between inputs and records and streams to multiple destination, but also can replay those great sporting events right inside the unit. Let's take a look at how this works. I have my YOLO Box Mini right here in front of me. And what I have set up is I have my camera coming in and because I'm in a studio and I'm not on a sideline and I can't tell people when to do things, I have a recording of soccer right here. So I have a little bit of a soccer game, some footage I have that I'm going to play as if it's a camera. Now, when you go to a replay, it's going to come back to your camera, which of course, in this case, is the video. It comes back to the input that you left when you hit the replay button. Before you do replay, it's important to do the replay setup. That is over here on the right, go to your gear icon and at the very bottom, here's your replay settings. Now you've got, this is, it doesn't look like a lot, but each of these is very important. At the very top, you've got your replay duration. Now when it says seven seconds, that's seven real time seconds. If you were to slow it down to 50%, now the playback is 14 seconds. And that's actually still kind of long. At 0.75 right here, it's about 10 seconds. But the nice thing is the replay lets you exit the replay at any time with just another tap of your finger. So I usually leave it at seven seconds. I let the play happen, give it a little bit of time after the play and then I hit replay. So I get a little bit before, I get that cool moment, I get a little bit of time after and all together that's my seven seconds. When it replays, it's 10 seconds, which gives you enough time to talk about it a little bit, but adjust it to your own needs. That's the nice thing about the Yola box. Seven seconds for me, that works great. I could take it down to six, I kind of like seven, but for you, you may want it shorter, other people may want it longer. The next thing is the replay video speed. You can speed things up if it's something slow, but you want to speed it up. You can slow it down. I find 0.5 is a little too slow. 0.75, I find it's just about right. Uh, replay at the same speed at real time. And you could even go up to two times normal speed, which is pretty darn fast. The next two things are actually together. This is where you control your audio. The way I like to do it is I have the audio from the replay silent because normally if you play the replay, replay audio, it's going to be slowed down. I don't necessarily need that. And I want to keep my normal audio, the live microphones or my the voiceover announcer, I want to keep that going. So right here is the replay audio. I leave that off. You can turn it on. You can adjust the volume. You can give it a little bit of gain. And then down here, mute other sources during the replay. If you click this on, you're muting your microphones or your main audio. If you leave it off, then those uh, microphones continue through. And the last thing is show a replay overlay on the program. That's a, a little, it says replay. It's kind of subtle. It's on the top left side. You can turn that on or you can turn that off. Again, allowing you to customize what your replay looks like. Now, once you have finished setting all your replay settings, let's look at how you actually activate an instant replay on the YOLO box. Another important thing to note is that replay only works when you are recording or streaming, because if you're not streaming to a live audience or recording for later broadcast, there's not a real need for a live replay function. You, you, you know, you could just take it and do it later. So on my YOLO box, I'm going to hit the record button. Yep, we're going to start the recording and I have some soccer playing right here. And here we're going to watch the soccer play. This is like from a sideline, which is perfect for the Yola Box Mini. This could sit on top of your camera. You could be streaming this or recording it. And then something happens. Oh, he got hit. Did you see that? Let's look at that replay. And you can see it's slowed down a little bit to my 0.7. It comes over and oh, he gets hit. 
There's a little bit of time after, and then it's going to cut back to my regular time. So you saw how easy that was to be watching it, hit the replay button, and then just let it go. Here is he's walking off the field. Good job, kid, good job. Okay, now here we go. We're gonna come down and again, the replay button is right there. It's always on the screen. It's always caching things to your memory card. And when something happens like that right there, all right, we're gonna hit the replay button. Now, as you can see, it says exit replay right there. I can leave at any time. Slow motion. Here we go, he's gonna get it. Thank you very much. And then we go back to the regular play. This is how easy it is to use instant replay on the Yolo Box. And this works with both the Yolo Box Mini and the Yolo Box Pro. The Pro gives you multiple camera inputs, three HDMIs. The Mini gives you one HDMI, but it's perfect for doing sideline sports like we're looking at today. Somebody can have one camera, can stream it directly from the Yolo Box Mini with an internal SIM or Wi-Fi to your phone's hotspot. And it allows you to do that replay using nothing else. It's built into the Yolo Box Mini. The other cool thing that the Yolo Box does is it saves these videos. So let us first, we're going to go back to me just to stop watching the sports. Now we're going to come into our videos here. We're going to ask it to load a video and I'm going to show you that here are my replays. It's saving each of these replays to the media inside the Yolo Box, whether it be a USB stick or an SD card, it's saving all of these replays so that you can go back after the event and take all of these replays and create a highlights reel if you want. Also, because I'm actually accessing the video, I can grab that replay, done, and now it's available as a source. So if we have some time during a break, during halftime or an intermission or whatever, you could actually load those replays into your video sources, replay them, and talk about them. Now, a key thing you need to remember is part of the instant replay, one of those key settings is slow motion. Now, when you load these video clips in, they're saved at full speed, you know, regular real-time speed. And when you load them in as video clips, they will play back at regular speed. They will not play back at slow motion. That is a function of the replay when you do it live. It is not a function of loading a video clip and playing it back normally. It's always going to play those back at normal speed. Now let's take a look at exiting the replay early because let's just say the play continues on the field really fast. So here we go. We've got something happening on the field. It goes across the field, the running. He's coming in, he's coming in, and he kicks it and he catches it. Ooh, let's look at that replay. So now it's playing, but you realize something's happening. You can exit the replay like that. That makes it easy to not miss what's going on. And remember, you saved the replay. That seven seconds of video is yours. It's gonna stay there and it's gonna remain on the SD card, even if you didn't play it all the way back. So this has been a quick look at instant replay on the Yolo Box Mini but also applies to the Yolo Box Pro. These tools make it easy to do sports, not just with the instant replay, but with built-in scoreboards, titles, and more. My name is Anthony Barocas for Yolo Live. Thanks for watching.